in this dump again, but you can see that ice in that bucket right there is froze solid. It's cold. It's way colder than yesterday. The ground's froze, but luckily I got that hole opened up up there and a few other ones that I can rake in. I'll have to bust some stuff out, but I'll get back on my first find. Up in there is where I was finding marbles. I'm gonna have to cut some branches and stuff out, but I will, and I'll get back on my first find. I was gonna get to a marble factory dump today where I can just find thousands of marbles, but it's just, the place will be very solid. Um, later. All right, I'm sitting down here and started raking here where I left off after about three or four minutes. You see it? There's a marble right there. Looks maybe like an orange cat eye from here. Maybe a vitro cat eye, it's right there. See what we got. Oh, it is one of these pretty, pretty I like these. I think they're vitro agates. Look how nice that is. Hold on. Yeah, that's beautiful condition. That's a beautiful marble. You know, it's not worth a whole bunch, but it's real nice condition and it's pretty. So I will take it later. Yeah, I just raked this out. I'll have to get, put this in the bag. That's a pretty nice ball button. It's metal. It's probably really old. It's two piece. You can see the shank still on it. It's a ball button. It's kind of half a ball. It's That's odd. That's an odd old button. I don't see nothing on it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have it. It looks like it has writing back here on the back. That's kind of cool. Another marble down here, but it's just a clear one, I think. Yeah, it's a cleary. It's nice condition, but it's just, you know, average. Later. Well, I'm coming this way. Take that tree out there, but I got another marble. Just right away. It might be a green cat eye, but I don't know. Let's see. It is. It's a green cat eye. You know, I'm looking for swirls and stuff, but... I'm looking for marbles and I'm finding marbles so the swirls will come later. Marbles are just coming out of this area on a real consistent basis. Do you see it? It looks like a vitro agate from the early 1960s and it's real nice, unique colors. It looks like it has turquoise green on the bottom. Let's see. It does. Let me wipe this one off. It's even got a line of black in that. That's pretty. Hold on. Yeah, it's got a like a line of black in it. It's got orange and red. That's pretty nice. But there's a marble popping out of here every few minutes now. There's a blue one. You see it? Looks like a blue marble king. I might be wrong, but looks like one of these. I found some of these in here in my last video. Yep. I'm going to have an old frame of these. Baby blue and navy blue marble king patch and ribbon. Late 50s, early 60s in age. Made in West Virginia. Probably looking at the rest of the marbles in here. This is probably an early Peyton City, West Virginia marble. Made at that factory. Got another jar with stuff in it. And they look like bottle caps. And they're old Pepsi ones, folks. Man, this is a good find. Bottle caps are worth some money. Look, there's a red... A red, white, and blue Pepsi cap with a West Virginia on it right here. Looks like there's a couple in here. Hold on, let me get it open. I'll just do it live. This is a good find. Man, this is a good find. Look up bottle caps on eBay. These bottle caps are probably worth $10 a piece. There's a Coke one. And there's Bobby Pan. There's two bobby pins. Oh, this is just outstanding condition. Look at that. It'll all clean up. A real nice old Pepsi. And this... This is a Coke, and it has like a factory on it or something. Look at that. It's got a factory at the top, and it's West Virginia. It's got a West Virginia logo on it. These are nice. That's it. It's a shame that wasn't filled with them with like 60 of them. But these are good finds. That'll clean up. I can put that in a display case. That'll be awesome. Later. Alright, I'm back home here. Um, you can see the cap I found in this last clip. It goes to a Pepsi bottle like this. You know, the cap's rarer than the bottle. 
all the caps got thrown away. This one's Princeton, West Virginia. I haven't cleaned it up yet. But that's pretty nice for coming out of the ground. Now I got a cap to go with it. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you that the bottle that gives the cap. I see another marble. I just started coming this way. I found that bottle cap container up in there, that baby feed container with the bottle caps in it. Thought I'll come this way instead of cutting this out right, <coughs> right now. And right there's a marble right here. Huh. What do we got here? It's one of these little, like, It's got blending to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's nice. It's smaller than average. It's got like orange in it on a red base. It's kind of nice. It's nice condition. Later. Right in my last video when I said I was going to be finding some marbles, I left off in here and man, I was really finding them at the end of the day. And I'm finding them again. Just three rakes later, I busted out some stuff and there's another marble right here it's another blue marble king but they're all in nice condition look at that nice condition these are pretty marbles you know a pretty common marble but if i'm finding marbles it's hard to tell what's in here up the hill just a little bit i found german handmade marbles like in the spring of this year so hopefully i can get onto some swirls alley agate stuff like that but these i'll take them see there's milks and stuff in here too usually i don't show this kind of stuff unless it's like a figure head one but i find these kind of things all the time you know that's nice enough to take and trade it's a broughton's milk um from the late 50s i would guess early 1960s it says something Dacro protected Broughton's milk and all the ACLs there. I'll take that and treat it. I also just found that bully jar and I found this thing. I'm going to take this and put a cap on it and put marbles in it. It's kind of a cool jar. But I'll get back. I just want to see it. I see another blue marble. Just I'm raking this wall here and letting the stuff tumble down and looking at it. You can see there's lots of bottle caps in here, but there are, none of them are in jars like that last one. See, there, it'll be a treasure trove of these. And some of these can be worth a ton of money. But I see another marble. It's another one of them blue ones. It's right here. Another blue marble king. I'm going to have a whole frame of these off this place. Nice condition. Have a whole pocket full of these. Yeah, that ain't bad. And it's a real small town in Bel Air, Ohio. And it's even embossed. See, it's embossed up in there. It's got that textured bottle. That's worth taking. See, I get the, the little blue bottle there too. Blue. blue marble kings are in here everywhere. Well, I was going to show you that one laying there and it got keyed in on it. Right here. See, there's a base of a mason that keys down. Huh. 51. I don't have one with a number that high. That's the mold number. 51, huh? But another marble king. Look at that. How many is that? A half dozen of just these, probably. That ain't bad. Real, just beautiful condition. <laughs> Pretty good day now. You see it? Just rake this out. And these are the least common insulators I found. I just found another one over there about 20 yards. There must be a bunch of them thrown away on this dump. It's an insulator. It looks good. You see it? Right here. Oh yeah. Look at this. It's they're be look at that. They're glazed like crocs. You know, I could get twenty bucks for these. That's absolutely perfect. There must have been whole telephone poles thrown away here because I find them on this dump. Almost all of them are from this dump. I think I have a couple from another dump, but never found very many of them here. Man, what a good week for these. I just found one of these like a week ago. If even that, that's nice. Perfect condition. It's even got like a purple hue to it. Wow, look, no chips, no cracks. Just, it'll clean up to look brand new. That'll be good, great with my insulator collection. I have a bunch of them. Man, good find. Later. Hey, I got another marble. 
going up the hill. That looks like a spoon sticking out right here. It is. It's an old soup spoon. It's got ornateness on it. I'd say it's plate, but I'll look at it. Let's look at this. It's a white cat eye. Just an average one. Later. Definitely going up the hill. I cut a bunch of this stuff out of here and started raking. I see another one of them blue marble kings sticking right out of the wall right here. They're everywhere in here. There must have been bags of these thing away. I'll take them. I thought that was a big marble when I first saw it, but it's the top of an insulator, so there's real, that's an old one. Look at that glass. Bubbles all in it. Um, that's a good sign. I'm going this way. But that's kind of a unique blue bottle. Kind of a unique shape one. I've found that before, but not many of them. But I saw a marble fall, but I can't tell. Looks like a marble right there to me. It is. It's a big cat eye. It's a nice condition. I'll try to find one more nice one and then I'm gonna cut this off. I've been here right around two hours now. I got a pocket of marbles, an insulator, a kind of a nice ACL suit, and I got them bottle caps. That's enough for a video. I gotta do this. I'd put it all in one, but the weather can take a turn for the worst and I might not be able to look for days, so I gotta try to stay two more hours, make another video today, so I keep my channel going. I hope you enjoyed. I'll show you this, the, all the marbles. I got at least 10 to 12 in there in two hours, and this is looking promising going this way. I opened a test pit there, and there's marbles in it too, so they're all over this hill. Later. All right, I've been here two hours. I'm gonna start a new video now. I might go around there and open up a hole and dig some more up in here, make another video today. I'm gonna stay two more hours. But I got like 12 or 13 marbles here. They're all nice condition. Um, I got a nice insulator there. I got that Barks three blue things to take and a milk. And I got the two bottle caps, which are a cool, very cool find. Um, I'll get back at you. There'll be a part two to this, so make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, here's a, a cool ACL Seda. I'm starting my second video, but I'm gonna include this one in. Dayton, Ohio, upper 10. That's cool. Picks you up. I've never seen that, I don't think. Maybe a broken one before. I'll take that and trade it. I'm making my second video, but this is the first marble. I'm gonna include it. It looks pretty nice. You see it there? Include it in this first video. Yeah, it's a marble king. I thought it was gonna be a vitro. But another red marble king, so this will be it on this one. I'm gonna get busy and find some more stuff, more clips for my next video now. That's decent. Later. See this bottle? The ring around the neck? I think that's a Marietta High Crystal Beverages. Let's hope it's... That's what it is. Looks nice. Yeah, it's got some... it's messed up. That's a Crystal Beverages, Marietta High. There's ACLs in this hole.